you're going to hate that we're going to be drinking and eating on this podcast, but it's we got a, we got Michi Chui, freaking Facts. ceviche in front of us, alcohol, and it's our 40th episode. Yeah! yeah. I made it! <laughs> I was nervous like my car was going to break down or something like, before I got here. And to celebrate, we, we have a bunch of 40s in our hands. Big 40s. We're going to chug it. We're going to chug it. I have a Bud Light 40. Shout out to my dad. I know this is like water, apparently. But my dad likes Bud Light, so. Big and Mickey's. then and, 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 and let's tell him about the tagging. Yeah, but oh yeah, yeah. But you guys have Mickey's. Yeah, we have Mickey's. Yeah. Good Mickey's. A lot of the homegirls got the Mickey sign tatted on them. I think they regret it after years. But wow. you know, it was hella ratchet. Out of know. all the forties, this is the best tasting. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna keep it a bug. I'm a Code Forty Five type of guy. Really? Yeah, Code Forty Five was my thing. Code Forty Five and two zigzags. Maybe that long. Okay. Yeah. So we are going to chug for forty seconds. Okay, somebody put the timer. 40 second chug for 40th episode. Yeah, it's yeah. Like disappointed in me. It's been a while. Yeah, I haven't done this since like 2010. It's a great time. I'm going to just chug yeah. all my liquor. Oh, and then we tag because um, we. this is my tag. <laughs> Mine is super toy. Yeah. We we tag on our 40s. That's a tagger thing. Yeah, that's, that's what we do. Thing. That's what we do around here. That's what we back. do around here. Shout out to owner. He tagged on mine. Letty yeah. Warner. Letty Warner. Letty Warner. <laughs> Letty. Letty. If a Letty called me, was like, Duno, were you ever a winner? Yeah. And I was like, I was. I was. She's like, oh my God. Do no one. <laughs> do no one. All right. We ready? Yeah, we ready? 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Brown bag. Episode Brown 40. Bag. Let's go. Oh, Cheers. Oh, I don't know do why it. I had to do that. Hold up. Ask some titties. Oh, I have some titties. Can someone play some music for 40 seconds? Yeah. Okay, some. Okay, let's go. Ready, set, go. Mm-hmm. Jug, jug, jug. Fresh, man. Fresh, man. I can't do it no more. <laughs> Fuck. I can't do it, dog. It's been forever, fucking Vic. I knew you were a ratchet when I met you. <laughs> Drink, do no. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm going to have to chug this lot of liquor. Oh. <laughs> that shit just brought like flashbacks. Like ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. <laughs> ten seconds. Do no. Ah, just I'm, I'm gonna just admire my tag and give all the credit to let the invent to be honest. Four, three, two, one. I let her. Done. Y'all fucking <sighs> killed it. I swear. I couldn't Hell do yeah. it, you guys. <laughs> Woo. I couldn't do it. Not nah, burp that shit. Burp it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, Rod over here in the back. Hey, hey, hey. Doing it all- hey. Oh. Wait, you gotta show the camera. You gotta show the camera. Did I win though over Look here? Look at Scooter Ron. Look at Scooter Ron. Scooter Ron did that. Hey. That is a winner. What the fuck? Hey. By a little way, look. Wow. I'm the winner. Oh, Ron. No, oh, Ron. Scooter Ron. Yeah. yeah. Scooter Ron. Damn, Letty. God damn it. Letty, Letty. Fool. I thought I had it. I'm, I want to. I'm. I'm I thought I had it letty, in the letty, bag. Letty, just no I need real. someone to burp me. <laughs> <laughs> letty, just no real forty chuggers. Yeah. Woo. Burp it out. Yeah, I'm. I'm here yeah. with it. I'm here with it. Look, I only Jack. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bitch. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Yo. hey, brown bag for that though. Yeah, brown bag. I, I, I got you. Damn. Oh yeah, facts. Fuck. Bro, the minute I tasted that shit, you brought flashbacks. Yeah, yeah hell flashbacks. yeah. It took me back to like this liquor store we used to go to. Called Foster's. You're about to win. They used to just sell us anything. Yeah. <sighs> Smells like Christmas time, man. You're my best friend. <laughs> You're my best friend. Two dollars. Now, f- four because it's a 40. You're my best friend, Angie. Thank you. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Why do you say smells like Christmas time? Like, like, so like, well, like growing up, like, let's say, like, the homie will fart and, like, you know, because people get embarrassed about certain shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, and so, it's, you're, you're a great person. So I'll be like, ah, it smells like Christmas time, He man. is, like, that's, <laughs> that makes you feel, because if, if a girl burps, guys are like, ew, gross, or don't be like that, or girls need to know, da, 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 da. but he's very, like, accepting. I don't mind a burp, a burp is cool, just not the other thing. You know? Or, like, yeah. or like one of those things, like, where, like, my ex-girl, like, one of my exes, she was, like, hella shy about taking a shit, right? And then, like, obviously, we got comfortable. She'll take a shit at the house. And then yeah. when she'll get out, I have to use the bathroom and be like, ah, it smells like Christmas time, man. <laughs> and she'll be like, oh, she'll be like, this is a sick food. No. no. But I'll this say- is a keeper. <laughs> Girls, if you were on the fence about hitting on Duno, hit on him. Like, that's Come amazing. Come on, and I'm at the gym. <laughs> Talk I'm about it. it. I'm at the gym every day now. You know, working out, you feel me? He's a gym bro. Water. He's a gym, oh, bro, gym bro. bro. Can I go to the gym with you? What yeah. gym do you? No, don't. Don't say that. No, yeah. Now, nah, but they're gonna be check, hella like checking you out and coming up to us. A lot of Brownback fans be at the gym. Yeah. 
A lot of brown bag baddies be at the gym. Mm. They be like, oh my God, I love the podcast. I just be wanting to tell them like, but do you love me? Oh my God. You know? What's your favorite me for part? Me, girl. Yeah. Yeah, it's lit. Oh, so, what's your favorite part? <laughs> that what was do you cool. like about the I appreciate us chugging 40s for the 40th episode. What yeah. other podcast? What other show? Come on. 40th. Big, how do you feel? You made it past 39, man. I know. It feels great, honestly, bro. Like I said earlier, <laughs> I, was like, yeah. I was worried like something would happen on the way here. And then I'm like, no. Yeah, Vic has had other podcasts that n- they were great podcasts, but it just dissolved after 39. 39 episodes, yeah, yeah. so we made it past that, you We guys. made it 40. Shout out to us. Broke you know, it, I think it's very, I'm very, like, into, like, nothing's a coincidence. So the fact that, like, opening day in L.A. is this weekend, our yeah. 40th episode is this weekend, it just all feels, like, amazing. And then Easter is this weekend, which is when Christ got reborn and we're celebrating it. Yeah. Like, yeah. there we go. Like, Hell this yeah. is all so special. You know, you know us. We yeah, have to man. make everything mean something. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What are you guys doing for Easter on Sunday? Mm. What is the plot for the Easter family, oh the Peniches, at the Yoras, at the Lopez's? Okay, so I de- can I go first, guys? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm having the most trouble because I have signed up to do Easter at my house, but I shouldn't have. Because next weekend, so first of all, the day before Easter is Ugas versus Spence fight which is a big fight. We're going to watch it. Okay. And then Easter is going to happen on Sunday. And then next week is Luisito's birthday. And then also during the week next week is my anniversary with Jorge. It's a lot of planning to do. And I took on Easter. Like, hey, In let's just have everyone come over to my house. And now I'm so stuck looking for this damn bunny. I want a bunny to come over the house. Is he going to be bad? You want to hire one? They're all, they're all <laughs> scary. The ones that are available look scary. They're the ones that scare the kids. Oh. Like, they're the eyes off. It's like the popsicle with the Tweety popsicle. Oh, when it has a... Yeah, when it has one's melting. So it's like a bad one? Yes, it's a, it's a bad bunny, guys. And you both <laughs> made references. <laughs> yes, it's a bad bunny. Well, we I'm mama. looking for a good bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been so tough to find. Michichu, you guys do bunny costumes? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Michichu. You guys Shout know we have Michichu. to bring back for the episode. They do Our everything. Family. I love Michichui. Yo, they're yeah. so good that they got, like... We didn't air two of our episodes. So we drank right, because we went too wild. <laughs> because we did a little too much. And then before we used to record earlier, so it was fine. But right now it's evening time, and I have to be up at four a.m. And I'm already like, damn, I'm gonna be so hungover. I know it'd be like that. Fuck, it. I know. What time I I left after here filming with Mitch Choi? I was like. Like fuck, it's only five p.m. on Jerome. Michi Chui well, has <laughs> has led to a few bad decisions by me back yes, in the day. Yes, facts. Facts. A lot of but funny it's all, ones. Yeah, facts. But it's all it's all in love, you know. It's so, all in love. Yeah. So get Michi Chui with caution. Yeah. <laughs> Hit them up. <laughs> but just be aware. Just be aware. <laughs> You're in for a wild night or yeah. morning or day. Oh, okay. Trump, but you should have seen everybody on my birthday. Hey, oh, I was drunk off the drinks. Fool, what they put in there. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> facts, my, facts myself that all the time I drink meat to it. Facts. When I walked Should into your birthday, us? hey, when I walked into your birthday, I was in the back of the line and I was like, you know what I want. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, this is not out, by the way. This really are people. They did. Guys, they, yeah. Yeah. They've done fucking let these events. They did my mm-hmm. birthday. We've talked about them. If y'all some real OG fans, we've talked about it plenty of times. We've had a great time with them. Yep. And it's just. Well, man, lucky I feel bad because all the episodes we do shut them out. We don't run because, <laughs> well, because we're drunk. drunk we get. We're too drunk. <laughs> Sorry, Michi Chui. Thank you yeah. for keeping coming. But look, yeah. this, this one, look, I just got the beer. I chilled this time. Yeah. No more cucumber margarita. Gets me a little too happy. You yeah. feel me? No, I'm trying this. Um, What's the mango? Mango Hennessy. Mango Hennessy. Mango oh. Hennessy. Oh. 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 Mango Down Hennessy with ceviche. <laughs> Damn, that shit is lit. And their ceviche is always so fire. We're treating today like a Saturday day. Like, yeah. what's wrong with us? What is wrong with us? Nah, but yeah, it's big vibes, man. I'm excited big for vibes. Easter. Yeah. What because, are your guys' plans? So my plan, so shout out my boy. He's been taking me to the gym and shit. So, he's, he, and he's a big soccer fan. So what I'm going to do is take him to an LAFC game. On on Sunday, Fire. and for him and his girl, we're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna have a good time and shit. But right after, I'm gonna go to City Terrace in East LA, and my family goes crazy with the egg with the egg hunt. They go crazy, and then they go crazy with the popping the eggs. But we don't do confetti; they do fucking arena. 
What? My family gets crazy with this fucking. <laughs> it becomes war, fool. Like, and so he's still, talking about like eggs, eggs that oh, they yeah, fill. Sorry, yeah, yeah. What usually it's either it's confetti, but you fill them with harina, yeah, with they, flour. Yeah, they fill them with flour, and the Ooh. thing is to run around smack, so you already, it on people's heads. So my, my like all the girls in the family know whoever you bring, they can be like like. One time, I think, like, my sister bought a homegirl, and she was like, oh, so I acting like a mamona. And they're uh. like, well, you should have warned her. Go, like, go with your like, family for Easter. Yeah, like, bitch, go over there. You feel me? But it gets crazy. Like, like for, we don't do the 12-packs. We do the 24. You know the right. cartones? That Ooh. even break your mom whoops your ass? Damn. The purple one. The yes. purple, purple yes. one. It gets lit. And then what you got to do is get there in secret and and always keep them away from the Because always a crisp yeah. crack it off, you know? Like, yeah. like, last year, my sister told Aiden, like, hey. Go ahead with that. Yeah. Then boom, and then it starts a fucking war. Yeah. And then you're always like on alert. And then there's always that one cousin everybody wants to get because it's like just some type of animosity. To yeah. Them. <laughs> like everybody just goes extra hard on their head. Like, on that one. Yeah. <laughs> they, they wait all year to do some shit. Yeah. <laughs> but one time when I was younger, um, we say one of Madrina's house. We went to my Madrina's house in Mid City, and bro, mm. did we had that arena fight? We came back to the house late night, like around como las once, doce. And we found out that the water got shut down, the hot water. Mm. So my sisters had arena all over their hair. We did. No. And, bro, we had to shower with cold water oh. 11 at night. And we had because it's on a Sunday, so there's school the next day. Wow. Oh, my God. That's why I didn't go. Like, they, they were having fun, but when they came home and found out that there was no water. And you know, Latinas, they had to shower. Yeah. Hot water, mandatory. Yeah. They were that's mad. a Latina thing? I think that's a Latina thing. I thought yeah. that was just a me thing. No, nah, that's no. a Latina that's thing. That's funny. It'd be hella hot out, like, you feel me? And they just, they open the door and all oh, the smoke comes out. I'll be like, damn. Wow. That's excited, though. The first time that I, I like, even saw the, the eggs like that, I was in Mexico. So they do, like, a fiesta where my dad's from every February. Fire. And so I guess the, well, this is how I saw it. They have the girls walk in a circle like this. Like, they're walking around in a circle, and then the guys are outside, like, walking in an opposite circle. So, basically, you're passing around people. So, the girls are doing this, the guys are doing this. And if a guy likes you, he smashes you in the head with the egg. Uh. Yeah, it's a weird thing in my dad's pueblo. Like, but that's how I learned about those eggs. And then I saw them. (laughs) Did I get hit with the egg? (laughs) <laughs> I feel sorry for those girls. You know what I'm they say? still me, dog. Like, See, and I'm half Salvi. Mexicans love Salvi. Come on, I was telling you that. <laughs> you know, you feel me? Like, yeah. no, but you know, you know, I'm imagine. But you know what Latinas say? What? You could be a six, seven over here, but in Mexico, you oh yeah, dime. Mexico, you dime, dime, dime. <laughs> yeah, I was like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> La Kim, La Kim. Yeah, that's funny. That's like I could say. Like, I feel like if I were to go to Mexico, like you from is it? Rap, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're just getting all the. I'm getting it cracking. You're having a whole other family out there. Like, come on, oh, mommy, you sure. ain't never seen this gorra before. <laughs> 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 this gorra? Come on, mommy, do this. this is Look at my ch- cachucha. Cachucha. <laughs> Look at yes. Me gusta tu cachucha. Me gusta tu cachucha. They're going to want your cat something. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, what are you doing for Easter? Oh, Let's um, go back to oh, yeah, nice Easter. talk. <laughs> So for whatever reason, I don't really have too much of a tradition for Easter oh, every year. Can nah, you it's just. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one that kills God. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that right? It was white people. Right? That is a that's a good people. ass joke. No, that's a good ass joke. <laughs> I can't even lie. No, nah, um, Jesus. Yeah, no. Nah, so uh, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. for whatever reason, like we have traditions for every everything else except for that. Wow, um, maybe it's time for you to set set up the tradition. I was you know? I was thinking, or that. to go to Dallas. But this, uh, not nah, but um, <laughs> Dallas coming to me. Nah, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but this year uh, my mom's birthday is uh, Wednesday or uh, the thirteenth, so we're gonna celebrate on Sunday, on Easter. So we're gonna go to brunch. With my oh, mom. fire! Okay, yes. so mimosas. Yeah, so for mimosa for vibes. The day the yeah, my mom up. like mentioned this like super fancy Hollywood place that like her homegirls told her about. She's like, I want to go here, and I'm like, Where's that? She's like, I don't know. It looks so cool on Instagram, Aww. and I'm like, All right, I'll take you to mom. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. Legend. Yeah. It's like you know when like when like older people discover like cool shit, and then now you got to take them. Oh, ask me about it, fool. <laughs> yeah. My mom found out I could get tickets to places that all I get. That's for what I'm saying. Every weekend, she's like, This person's gonna be at this at this at this spot. You know anybody there? 
I'd be like, shit, let me call Ron or the homie. Yeah. Straight in, I forgot to call straight homies. For like the Santa Fe clan, I, I told Ron, like, hey, my mom, was, my mom was already waiting by the thing. They were asking her, she has tickets. She's like, mi hijo ahorita va a venir. <laughs> and then, yeah, she, that's fire. She, and, then, um, and then we got there, and then we got like the, the backstage ones and everything. And then she was like, she was taking pictures of everything, but on Facebook, she was trying to go live. The Velasco had horrible service. She was hella frustrated. I'm like, just record it and post it later. You know what I mean? Yeah, now my mom, any concert, she's like, do you know these people? And I'm like, <laughs> yes. yes, mom. <laughs> on uh, on Mother's Day, we're going to uh, go to like this old school R&B concert. It's pretty sick. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that you do stuff with your mom as like a, like a son. Like yeah. both of you do that. That's so awesome. That yeah. makes me look forward to when the boys are older. Yeah, because they're yeah. gonna do cool shit. Especially like Oh hell yeah, because you're oh. a legend already. So imagine Legend. Legend. So they're gonna they're gonna take you out. They're gonna be like, dude, she's I mean, you're probably gonna take them. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, um, <laughs> would you be okay with any of them doing radio? I know I, I know it's like a kind of like oh radio's not a bad thing, but like right. would you be okay with any of them being like You know, yeah, because I want like so uh, yes, if they wanna do it, I feel like <sighs> this is gonna sound so bad. There's this thing called nepotism, mm -hmm. and it's basically like you getting ahead because of who you're related to. And to me, it's like, yes, if I'm your mom and if you want to do radio, I'm going to help you because it was so hard for me to get into it. Mm. And it's like, yeah, you, like, let's keep the legacy going, you know? Latinos need to practice nepotism. Nepotism more. So we, fucking we, We're much. so much about, like, get it on your own and, like, go the for hard no way. Reason. And it's like, it doesn't have to be that way. The I did the hard the work shit. so that my children don't have to. Damn. Clearly, still make them learn morals and different things. Yeah. I'm like, Ooh, right now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's the 40. The 40. No, the when 40. are my deadlines? But like, <laughs> <laughs> that be drunk with the white neighbor just. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's only Frank. You're like, oh, what's up? No, nah, yeah, deadass. We need to practice nepotism in the Latino community a lot yeah. more. Like you said, there's like a stigma like, oh, it was handed to him. Yeah. Or even like, let's say, um, like AD, like they say, like silver spoon cut or whatever, <laughs> right? But it's like, it's like looked down upon, and yeah. that that's stupid, bro. But that's what you, know you what work saying? so hard it for, be, yeah. So that you're like generational wealth, so that your kids have it easier. My you kids know? are spoiled brat. That's that's a flex to me. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like, well, tampoco. I mean, not like yeah. that. But you know nah, what I'm saying? It's not like, like it's not like it's not like he could hit Vic and yeah. not like, but like that. He, but I'm he saying he has things. He has yeah. things that mm -hmm. I didn't or that I wanted to have or yeah. whatever. Like, and like somebody asked me too, like, oh, would you want Vic to be in the music industry? And I was like, if you want, I'm like. If he wants to, right. then I'm going to make it, like, super fucking Hell easy yeah. for him. <laughs> you know what I'm Hell saying? Hell yeah. And I'm obviously going to teach him hard work and a work ethic, not hand him shit, but, like, he's going to skip a lot of steps yeah. when there's nothing wrong with that. And and more than likely, honestly, your kid's not going to want to do what you do. Yeah, I don't, yeah, like, like, I think my mom to this day just, I think the one thing about Latino parents is questioning um, their kid's mm. future and, and, and I and I was blessed with a mom that this even though she like my mom like my mom used to be like even with tagging my mom used to be like rate las pinches nalgas porque te gusta because when I was younger I had money right. you know like we were like getting we we're painting but she'll buy me like new cargo shorts and the next day they'll have a rip from a fence or like a, a cannon she'll just talk shit but now that she like she'll laugh about it like oh mira tu amigo este. Or like my mom would see uh, tags, she's, she's and they still like, oh, mira, te vi, te vi, tú y tus pinches amigos. ¿Cuándo lo hicieron? ¿Cómo se subieron para allá? ¿Cómo wow. esto? And yeah. then, but now it's like that with this, where it's like, how oh, I was, because it's different, like, when, okay, so when we did the Mozzie shit on No Jumper, like, I was telling my mom how excited I was, and I had to, I had to kind of, like, compare Mozzie to somebody in her industry. And like somebody, I mean, not her industry, but somebody that she's she likes. familiar with. Yeah, so she was like, "Oh, like, so it's cool shit like that." Like my mom, when when I told her who Letty was, I had to compare her to like a Latino radio person. Ooh, what did you yeah, say? Get in. Um, please, please don't say Pili. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's like paisa. My mom's like, "Que viva roca, chingada tu madre." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my mom, yeah. Yeah. Which locutor am I or locutor? A locutor, I think. I said something like, "I said, oh, because my mom knows who." Um, we're probably edit this out. Why? But my mom knows who. Big uh, boy. Um, is. You know. <laughs> yeah, we're editing that. Yeah. Say so, big boy. Okay. Shout out to big boy, yeah. my guy. Yeah. So yeah, so this Hello. Is, you know, like it's always dope to like, you know, so I would want like my kids when I have kids to be like, oh, like, you know, I'll be like, oh yeah, well, I know this person. Yeah. Like, woo, woo. yeah. My dad would not understand this, but he does understand radio. 
So like the radio stuff, he gets it. Like he'll he'll listen to me. He'll just have the radio on to me yeah. just to support. Yeah. I remember when I worked at another station, and I, when I had left power, uh-huh. well, I got fired. But then I went to work at another station. He would ride around, and if he saw Power One Hundred Six, like at the street team, he would bump the other station. Just to be like on some ride or die stuff, That's like dope. I love this station. Like just my dad, he's Mexican, it's fine. Yeah. Um, but he well, doesn't listen like- to any of the music. It's just so to support me. So shout out to my dad. But this stuff, he doesn't understand. Yeah, my mom. Mm. He Dutch. does not understand brown bag or any of it. Like, but this is gonna be the shit that he that he's gonna be living off of pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, really to Talk about it. Like, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Still you right now, bro. <laughs> nah, it's funny because I can't even say brown no bag. No wearing glasses, I can't even see. She be like, she be like, es martes vas para el para el para el 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 bound el bound. I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah. what did yeah. she say? What did she call she us? She says like brown bag, like brown bag, like she, <laughs> the R. I think the R is very hard to pronounce for Latinos that are my mom's is considered ESL. Yeah. <laughs> So look, <laughs> if English you yeah, all, all it means is English, English as a second language. Yeah, right? yeah. So if you have either more Spanish speaking family members, just call us Bolsita Cafe. That's yeah. what our group chat is called. Yeah. Yeah. Bolsita Cafe. That's Not that is Bolsita. Ours is Cafe. Yeah. yeah Saca we don't esa <laughs> no, yeah. So, the, so I think that's dope. I, yeah, but I always thought about like I wonder like if Little Vic would be like 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 if he would want to be a journalist. Right. And he's already a YouTuber yeah, and a streamer. Like, he's who knows if than you. he's want to be YouTuber? He's way who's, cooler. Who's, yeah, no, <laughs> dead ass. Who knows if he's actually going to like continue it? Because you know, kids have phases and then grow out of things, mm-hmm. and then they think like something they did when they were younger is like, oh, that's lame. I but think- if he continues how he is, he's very consistent. He posts. He literally says he's like, I'm a memer. And he gets a wow. lot of views on his <laughs> videos. You'd be surprised. Like, <laughs> he'll get like five thousand views on a video that's like three seconds long. And hey, I'm like, I remember don't, 1K, you I don't get it. Sorry, oh, he's, he's at like four or 500 subscribers. Oh, yeah, we get him monetized. <laughs> no, dead ass. He's all, shout out Vic. He always tells me to, uh, to you guys follow his YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe to him. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so who knows if it continues. If it is, like, I'm going to support him. And I'm going to, like, you know, start to, like, come up with content with him when he gets Because right now it's kind of like he plays with it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But if he really wants to take it serious and he gets older, like I'm gonna support him 100. percent Get him that, editors, get him, you know, that's good fire. camera and shit. That's you know? dope as fuck. Jose's like, yeah, more money. <laughs> 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 no, but 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 imagine too, like imagine Orito were to do baseball, right? And he's up for pitch at his first pitch, MLB, and then they show like they always show the reactions of the parents, and then it's you and Jorge, and then they'll be like, let the OG um, Hall of Famer or radio listen and then. In the Radio Hall of Fame? Yeah, Radio Hall of Fame, yeah. and then it's like Jorge Beniche, yeah. um, LA's top photographer, woo woo. Like, yeah. You know, like, there's that's certain, so that's, fire. that look fire, because then it'll be like, wow, it's all different professions. Well, yeah, do you know, like, Elon Musk, is, Elon Musk, his parents, like, one of them's a supermodel, one of them's, like, something else. Like, mm-hmm. his parents are, like, popping. Hella cool. Yeah, yeah so that sounds cool. Like, yeah. like David Beckham's kids. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. What do they do? One of, but it's like David Beckham and Posh, Posh Spice, Spice had a kid. Like a Spice you know? Girl and the one of the biggest soccer players in the world had a kid. He just got married. They, they have like three, yeah. four kids or something. Oh, David Beckham just do that their USA. Kid. I don't think oh, he plays no, anymore. Oh, no, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I don't know who David Beckham is. I don't think he plays anymore. That was, um, that was never mind. Okay, yeah. He Galaxy. doesn't write? He doesn't write? He's no, retired? No, uh, he's played for Galaxy. Yeah, he played for Galaxy. Yeah. for a little bit. But he also played in Europe, right? Yeah. 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 Legend. Yeah. Legend. Yeah, no, How was that? Okay, no, hold on, hold on. <laughs> because you guys said Radio Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah. When I was at the DJ Khaled. Oh, yeah. Star. Let's talk about it. Um. They gave him a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Fire. He took his kids. He took his sons. And it was cool because Jay-Z was there. Diddy was there. It was to me, I'm like, damn, these people don't even know who's going to be here right now. Because they showed up like, okay, DJ Khaled's going to get a star. And I don't think that necessarily, clearly Khaled's cool. But I don't think people came out like that for him. Yeah. So they, they show up and I'm like, damn. Hove is about to come out. Diddy's about to come out. Drake was supposed to come, but he got caught up in traffic. But, like, all of that. And it's, like, to see, it's, like, this shit should be shut down. Yeah. Like, it was if key, they knew, it was low. Because, but I, I know that's why they did it. Like, they're not trying to cause pandemonium like mm-hmm. that. But it was just so special being there. Because it was not a lot of people. 
So it was cool being there. But Cali took his kids, and his kids are all dressed up. And Loki, his kids remind me of my kids because of how Jorge is with them. Like he just is always has them in some fly shit, like his the Rolexes, all of that. But when I saw that, I'm like, that's that's what I want. Like to me, that doesn't feel like spoiled kids. That feels like kids seeing their parents work hard and being there. Like Cali took a moment to be like my um. Assad, I know, is the oldest one. I forget mm -hmm. the youngest one's name, but he's like, this is for them. And he just takes a moment. Literally, everyone is there to recognize him, but he's like, my sons, my wife, this is for us. We love you. And we're, I love you. And they say, I love you back to their dad. And we're just getting started. To me, that feels like, wow, that's the type of stuff I want to give to my kid, you know? Did he say yeah. another one? He, he's No, he's doing some other thing. He's like, they didn't believe, but God did. Oh, yeah. that's and hard. that's his new thing and I'm yeah. like oh yeah cause we've been through that yeah. he wouldn't believe in this but God did <laughs> the facts yeah that's fire yeah but I just like seeing that whole thing play out was very was, like, like, inspirational super inspirational literally I'm looking at that and I told Jorge this too I'm very I'm a manifester yep so I'm looking at that and I'm like that's gonna be us Hell like, that's yeah. going to be us first. Like, you know, like, Hove and Diddy. I showed you guys the video. Hove yeah. and Diddy and Khaled are sitting down. I'm like, that's us three. And then I look at Khaled up there. That's us again. That's fire. Because we're going to do a lot. I'm all, like, I'm all drunk. <laughs> we're going to do a lot. No, she told us this when she was sober, too, though. Yeah, yeah. I did. I put, this in, I put this in the chat. Yeah. I'm like, I got to see it. And literally, just that's how I am. I see it, and it, it, it happens. And I just trust in myself that much. We all have the same thing. Yeah. We all have the same brain power. I'm just, like, very cognizant of, like, how much it works, how powerful it is. Yeah, but yeah we're going to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And let's talk about how the brown bag fans were. Oh, yeah. That made Shout it easier to, the to brown visualize. Bag fans. No, this is what's dope. So there is a crowd, right? And there's a crowd there, and it's quiet because there's not a lot of people. But the crowd starts going, brown bag, brown bag, to get my attention. That's Hove turns around, Diddy turns around, and I know in their brain it's like, who, what are, who are they talking to? And then I'm like, hi guys. Like, hey, but it's so cool. Shout out to cool. every the people that were at the DJ Khaled thing that shouted out Brown Bag because that's the stuff that's important. That I'm there and LA sees us. Nah, yeah, that's dope as fuck. I think because because I've been getting that a lot lately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I'm telling you at the gym, like a lot of like. And then a lot of these, like, like it's obviously it's mostly Latinas, but the Latinas, like, they'll send me DMs. Or the Latinos will be like, bro, we big fans, whoop, whoop. Like, we fuck with y'all shit. And then I go to their pages, and, and a lot of the Latinas are, like, colleges. They're, they're fighting for our people. Yeah. And then the guys, and, like, it's hella People with dope. purpose. Yeah, yeah. It's dope yeah. as fuck to watch. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, shout out the kid that ran up to me at the Grove. I was walking with Lil Vic. We are going to go watch Sonic. And then he's like... Are you? And he was like all nervous. Oh, that's so. And awesome. I was like, I was like, yeah. It was kind of like I was about to walk in, right? So it was like a little bit awkward, but I was just like, yeah. And then I like I shook his hand. I was just like, yeah, like not good, Vic good to saying, meet you, hey, not right now. No, <laughs> <laughs> not Vic. No, no. It was just like I'm with my son. I'm I'm a, I'm very overprotective yeah, when I'm with yeah. them, you know. And he had all good intentions. Don't but come up to Vic when he's with his kids. <laughs> yeah. Approach me like me, a though. fucking grizzly bear. <laughs> no, nah, um, nah, But he was a hella cool. He was like really a young kid, like. Yeah teenager for sure and i just said what's up and like he didn't know what to say and then i didn't know what to say so wow. i was just like we're like and then i was just like yeah and i shook his hand and then he left that's awesome it was cool shout out to him he was really cool yeah since we're doing shout outs um shout out to giovanni Gio, and his girl melissa who listened to us with their with their kids um Gio called the uh, power today and was just like bigging up brown bag and i'm like no thank you his birthday is coming up so Gio have a great birthday happy birthday, hey. happy birthday Gio. you know he said they make it a point to watch us every friday loki were thinking of changing the drop date but <laughs> i can't anymore because it's become something special for people to yeah. watch it before the weekend pops so shout out to you and everybody that watches us and hopefully us. on your birthday you drink hella alcohol. Yeah, get a 40. And yeah, get a Ghana Mickey's. And then maybe great. a little bolsita. Cafe. Cafe. Okay. A Put. bag of... A tea bag? A tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he wants that for his birthday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Easter. <laughs> okay, let, let, let. Speaking of let, huevos. Let, let. Speaking of huevos. <laughs> Yoshi! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, no. they said I did it perfect. Shout out to everybody. Thanks. Um, you guys have to take the wheel on this. All right, Len. I can't wait to hear. What did you guys give up and how well did it go? I gave up eating fast food and I did a great job. Yeah. He's fucking doing it, guys. I'm so proud of you. And honestly, it went pretty good. It's, I think it's a mental thing. People always tell me, like, bro, it takes 21 days to break a yeah. habit or get yeah. a habit. So I've been doing good. Um, yeah, man. I'm sorry. I'm very, like, you know, journalist. I start to just question shit. I want to interview you really quick. <laughs> Do you have a certain, like, target anything? Or are you just kind of going with the flow? Or are you just trying to stay consistent? Like, you what's, know what? What's your I, thing? Think, I think it's... Those kinds of avenue, in effect. <laughs> I think, honestly, it's just feeling, like, you know, because growing up here, like, especially me, I've always been, like, a big kid, right? Yeah. Health is wealth, brother. Yeah, health as well, Papa. Like, and he's like, bro, shut the fuck up. DJ Cody's rich, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Rick Ross is rich. He just got a fucking star. <laughs> yeah, he got a fucking star. <laughs> or like, but, 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 I do like, cause, bro, when I when I get super skinny, I look smokerish. Right. And I and I don't want to look like that. <laughs> you like, want to be healthy. Bro. Like, like I want to. You want to be? Yeah, like, like I want to be macizo, yeah. but yeah. you know, like, yeah. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like for, I want to be poppy. But also be like, 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 you know, like, like teddy bear poppy. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like for, if I grew up body body, it'll be over for these <laughs> bitties. Cause just no girls yeah. always be like, oh my God, if you had a body I'm like, bro, I know. I know. Did your dad grow a beard? Fuck no. No, he didn't. Have, he like, couldn't give me up. shit. <laughs> he didn't pass you down anything? No, he did. He did. I for, for sure have his personality. Like super cool, funny. Don't give a fuck about nothing. Mm. For sure. But, but yeah, so it's all about... Cause I've been feeling better, you know what mm -hmm. I mean. There's a lot of fly shit I could wear a little yeah. more now, you know what I mean. So I'm more trying comfortable. To, so I'm like, I'm trying to like just be hella comfortable. You yeah. feel me? Thick. Like I want to be like yeah, thickums. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm poppy already. I just want to be like poppy sote. Oh. You know what I mean? So it's just, but 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 it is about feeling good. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like the little things you start recognizing. Like yeah. You feel me? I don't know. Yeah. I just want to be comfortable. Like That's dope. bro, you know what I mean? Like airplanes are not for big people. Yeah. So, but but I'm not at that point where I'm like I, have to, I like struggle at the yeah. plane. But I do want to like be more comfortable at the airport. Yeah. yeah. You know, for me, in general. You yeah. know, big or in do? general. What happened? Big. Well, like if you're bigger, you have to buy two seats. Right? Yeah. But bit, you know the button on the plane that lets your seat go back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He used to get like a bottle cap and cover the button so that his weight wouldn't touch the button to make the seat go back when he didn't want it. But that's the type of problems that like pe regular people don't get. But no, no, no. That's I'm not saying that's you. But yeah, like yeah. when nah, you said nah, that, yeah. that reminds me of him and his weight loss journey has been inspirational. Yeah. So, so it's it's been like yeah. and then shout out Lechero for being an inspiration. Up as well. Lechero, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out Lechero. Lechero, he's been killing it. So yeah, man. I've been shit. You guys even sent me some songs for my playlist. Yeah. Shout out Sarah. Shout out Jose. Shout out Angie. They sent me some good Mac Miller. Some good sure. Some artists I've never heard about actually, but. <laughs> Some real lyricist shit. I'll be like, oh, I can't believe you said that lyric. You bro. like listening to <laughs> lyricism when you're. I like listening out. to like hella mellow shit. Like, if you see, if you guys seen the playlist, I had a lot of J. Cole in it. A lot of like old school Drake where he was like actually rapping. And yeah. then I had a lot of Mac Miller. I have some AFM Peso on there. Nice. You know, yeah. so it's, 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 it's a mixture of the young, the old, the new, the different. So yeah, I've been good. I've been good. Now. But yeah, it feels good. Haven't eaten no fast food. Haven't eaten no Chick fil A. So yeah, I've been nice. good. That's good. Yeah, keep it consistent. Yeah, I love oh, yeah. that for you. I'm proud of you. What about you, Vic? Lent uh, went terribly for me <laughs> as far as uh, what I said I was going to. I was going to give up, like, sweets and, like, sugar. And fell off the wagon pretty early, about Damn. a week, two weeks into it. I was just like, ah, uh, fucked up. You know when you fuck up and then you're like, ah, I already fucked up. Might as well keep Might as it well going. just own it, yeah. Yeah, that happened. But there's there's nothing. <laughs> there's, no <laughs> there's no positive to report. There's no positive to report. What about you? I gave up cussing. Wow. I think I was good for a couple weeks, and then, like, little things have slid here and there. <laughs> I've got you. But I've talked to God about it, and he literally says, like, at least I'm, if I'm giving it effort still, like, I didn't just totally give up and just start cursing, I still stop myself. Yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah, like, you said, I'll, like, what the yeah, frick? Yeah, I'll whatever. still stop myself. Now but sometimes was, it'll just come out naturally. Now, this was let the fuck. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. And then yeah. go back to right into the conversation. But I think it's dope that you're you trying. try. I yeah, think yeah. trying, I think at least when you try it, you at least, like, okay, at least I didn't just throw yeah. it all down yeah. the drain. You know what I mean? Like, like you somehow gave it, like, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. When do you guys think you cuss the most? 
but I want my homies. Mm. Se pasan de verga, güey. Like, it just be, it's a constant, like, fat fuck, fucking dumb fuck, fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. And it's just wow. like, and it's just like, you fat fucking bitch. And it's just like, <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, fuck you. You don't have a dad. And it's like, oh, yeah? Your dad's a crackhead. Oh, yeah? Well, at least my dad didn't leave me for another family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's just a constant of bad words. And it's just the funniest thing ever. But, yeah, it's probably when I curse the most. Do you ever get your feelings hurt? I like about the dad jokes. Just about anything. Like, I feel like... The oh, 100%. Like said, what hurts 100%. your feelings? One time, shout out my homegirl Stephanie, love her to death. Last year, we were having the, the, the Christmas gift exchange. I, I always hang out with my friends on Christmas, always, on Christmas Day. Um, we always make it a point to see each other on Christmas Day, Thanksgiving. Nice. Whether it's the day before, the day after, or the day of, we always hang out, get junk, or, like, just eat and talk about life. That's how close we are. And one time... <laughs> And one time, we're like, because it starts getting crazy. It always starts with like a little, like, a little right hook, right? Yeah. They'll be like, oh, whoop. And it's like, all right, fucker. And then we go back and forth. And one time, I don't know, this is when, because um, nobody had made a joke. So when I go to TJ, unfortunately, I have to look for my dad. I can't call him or anything. I have to look for him. He's homeless. So she was like, we're going back and forth. And I'm like, shut up, Steph. You have two dads and you, you don't see none of them. She's like, well, yeah, well, at least I don't have to look for them. And I was like, Oh, I was like, huh? All right. And their homies were like, you have to Did look that for part you. hurt you more? Yeah, like I was the, like, the big thing. I was, yeah. I was like, oh, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> and then, then she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I was like, I got you, fucker, watch. But I, I didn't have a comeback way. Yeah. I, I didn't have one. <laughs> she and I'm to, like, she because, to yeah, because it hurts you more. No, like, she has a. Oh she my has God, a, he's crying. No, I'm not. She has a real dad. <laughs> yeah. She has a real dad, and then she has her, her stepdad. Oh, okay. So I'm like, shut up, you have two dads, and I've never met none of them. And she's like, well, at least I don't have to look for them. And I was like, Thing. And then I, in my head, I was like, damn. Because usually it's, I, I have one right back. You know, yeah. There's already one in the, the chamber. Yeah. But I hit it with the one on my chamber. Little did I know she had a double shotty waiting for my ass. And she hit me with that shit. And all the homies were like, oh, you have to look for your dad. Oh, GPN. Like culeros, Aww. you know? But I was, I was a good one. I was like, oh. I was like, I was like oh, legend. It was a legendary joke. Did you tell? To this day, we talk Adriana about it. And... For sure. Yeah. All the time. Cookie, Cookie and Jonathan think it's funny. The oldest one could be a little sentimental about shit. Yeah. But yeah, that shit, I was like, oh, damn. damn. Yeah, I was like, damn. I was like, because it, it, it's not like it hurt me, but it hurts more when it's true. Yeah. You she didn't make saying? something up. Yeah. Like, like it, was, it wasn't a lie, yeah. you know? So it was hella funny. When somebody makes something up about you, you're like, ah, yo, whatever. <laughs> but then it's like, when it's true, it's like, damn. She's like, well, you don't have to look for them. I was like, I even sat there, I was like, touche. <laughs> Damn. I was like, oh, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> but she got me good, fool. It was like, it shut my ass up. Yeah. Like, I didn't, I couldn't yeah. say nothing. I couldn't make fun of her for the rest of the day, the night. Because she just killed me with a banger. Sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah, <laughs> like, it just, we do a lot of fucked up shit. I want you guys to come around when it's just us. And you guys could just observe, like, pretend you guys are not in the room. Flies on the wall. And, and, it, gets, <laughs> and it gets crazy. Yeah. But yeah, what about you? Is there like, oh, a lot of things, huh? You're very emotional. <laughs> yeah. When do you cuss I the am. most? What do you feel like? Um, probably when I'm talking about hip hop. Mm. Like you guys get see how I get all passionate and <laughs> yeah. then I just lose it. Because it's like, really important to me. Hundred yeah. percent. I love you know? your tweets about hip hop. Because I really get like. <laughs> 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 what about you, Vic? In traffic, for sure. Oh. <laughs> In traffic all the time. I'm like move, bitch! Like <laughs> yeah. if, if people could hear me while I'm <laughs> while I'm driving, I'm like sh- 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 slow the fuck down, speed the fuck up. Like I'm just like talking shit. You better not fucking go, you stupid bitch! Wow. Like, <laughs> they just fuck a stupid dumb bitch. Yeah. You're in a honk right now. And like and I and that's only when I'm like solo in the car. You know, I drive yeah. a certain way when I'm just by right. myself, and then a certain way when I have Vic in the car. You know. Uh, oh, because you can't act too crazy. Or like cuss like that. Because yeah, he's yeah. gonna be like, Dad, we said no bad words. Like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's really on me about that too. And so. then he's saying the same things while he's playing on video games. No. So he said like the little kids <laughs> cuss him not. out. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I try not to. If you ever do something that you told your kids not to do, and then you do it and then they look at you like, but you told me like he not to. You literally told me not to do that. I think you're gonna be like that. No, fucking I said like I was talking on the phone with the homie, I was like, shut your bitch ass up. And Aiden's like, don't say that. You said I can't say that. Aww. And I was like, or like, I was trying to be funny with Aiden. I'm like, Aiden, what's up with the bitches? I have the video. I'm going to send it to you. 
And then he was like, <laughs> and he was like, don't say that, Tio Danny. Don't say that. And then he was just like, he hates, he like, he's like, for like who he's around, because we, we curse a lot. Right. He's like, he, he knows. He's like, chill. But he hella corrects us, like, don't That's say good. that. That's good. And That's something like that. Too. Yeah. yeah. I feel bad. I told my son, I promised him that I wouldn't like um, mock him anymore. Sometimes I mock him. <laughs> Cause he makes me mad, <laughs> and then and then today I did it again. I was like, I'm so. He's like, Dad, you said you wouldn't, and I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, this is the last time. I swear, I swear, I swear. Cause it'll be like he's being a brat, and then yeah. I'll mock him, but yeah, and then yeah. he'll he'll like like he'll get like really like sad, yeah, like, mm, like Dad, yeah. like you know. And I forget that like anything okay. I say holds a lot more weight, of course, to, yeah. you know, to him than than if anybody else or if he says it to me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So like. Yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. Um, Duno was on his live the other day <laughs> and he was having people sing to him. And oh, I was yeah. like, dude, we should do a brown bag. Tengo talento, mucho talento. Oh, like and dope. have people just perform. Yeah. Well, we can't use that name because it's clear. It's like literally already a name. Oh. <laughs> But it could be something like that. We could, we'll, we'll, we'll like figure we it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. But that would be so fun. If we have a talent show, like a brown bag talent show. That's fine. And we're the judges. That's lit. Maybe we should do that at a live show. That'd be that should sick. be a live show idea. Like, yeah. if you're talented, like, start give it, send us the videos already. Do backflips so and shit. We though. can no. have, like, our candidates. No weird shit. Or, like, Swallow Fire. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah like something. That show's lit. The Homie Depot I killed it. What did he do? He was singing, um, I'll catch a grenade for you. Bruno <laughs> Bruno Mars. Mars. And he was just going in, like, I can't sing in it. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, baby, baby or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They did Justin Bieber, baby. They killed it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what weird. about this guy in Ohio? Okay, we haven't touched any of the topics. Any of the topics? That, I love these podcasts. We talk so much, and it's just lit. Yeah, yeah. How's it just more work for us. Lady, <laughs> okay. Since we were talking about Lent, there is a guy in Ohio that has gave up food for Lent, and all he's drinking is beer. Cold. Just ones. like we've been drinking beer, he's drinking beer. I wonder how he's doing. It's a lot of yeast. Like it's nice to do this like the first couple of days. But for forty days to give up beer, that's a lot on your liver. His feet. Are I mean, not sure to give up swollen. beer, to give up food and only drink beer. Did does he is he drinking water? Yeah, that's well? like drinking water and he lost weight. He lost weight. He lost okay, weight. so then water and beer. Water and beer. Water and beer. Because like supersize me. There's that's a documentary where the guy oh, just ate super sized McDonald's. Died. Almost like he almost died. caught diabetes off yeah. that. Like just eating McDonald's every day for every meal. So that's he crazy. You drink yeah. only beer. Can can for, 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 do you have the history of what type of beer he's drinking? Because it has to be light, right? There's no like way. natty ice. He's drinking natty ice. Because if he's doing Lent, is he is he Catholic? Is that a Lent? Is that like mm -hmm. Lent? Is a is it a Christian Catholic mm -hmm. thing? What if he drinks old duels? What if he's just drinking IPAs? He did it also to fundraise money. To oh, fundraise so it's for a good cause. It, it, yeah, I mean, but it's so also he's not. A, he's but a good it's not drum. good for your health. Definitely not. Like it's, I would not suggest this. What is he like? Is he like getting stupid lit every day? True. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, or is it like one in the morning, one in for breakfast, lunch, lunch and dinner? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He drinks water and takes vitamins. Okay. Mm. I still don't think that's healthy, dog. Yeah, like, I don't think that's healthy. like alcohol is poison to our bodies. Look at us. Downing 40s and drinking with chewy. <laughs> While talking shit, huh? Yeah. No fucking do that. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, I would never. I would never. <laughs> oh my God, do you know those girls that go like, I don't drink beer. No. I'm those girls, I don't drink beer. <laughs> I was about to say, Duna. <laughs> Duna literally always tells us like, I don't drink beer. <laughs> no, but I gave it up. I used to chuck hella cuarentas. And like, and like, you know, if I used to drink hella Modelos and Budweiser and shit like that. Okay. But like, I like, I brought a girl to the kind of salad before and she's like, um, I don't drink beer. It gets me fat. <laughs> and the homies, the homies after she left, they're like, fucking stuck up ass bitch. We'll never bring her around again. <laughs> she wants to be all cool and shit. What, she thinks she's better than us or what? <laughs> and then she's like, I just don't. And like, it gets pimples and stuff. She was like, and then she talks like this, right? So it's just frustrating me more. <laughs> And I'll where'd, you meet, where'd you meet her? And I just, 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 not the point. You went on a crazy party? <laughs> I'm like serving myself a plato. And I'm like, get up. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, it's because I'm shy. And the homies are like, the homies mocking her like, get your own plate. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, hey, Coletas. 
Oh, and then, and then, and then the homie gets there, and he, he gets there a little late, so, you know, first thing you do when you get there, you open the pack, and hey, who needs one, who needs one, boom, boom, boom. And then, and then he's about to give her one, and then the homie goes like, she doesn't drink beer, she's getting fat. <laughs> and bro, was, she was like, nah, but she was like, and towards the end, like, it was funny, because then the other homegirls showed up, they're like, fool, pass me a beer, opening it with their teeth and shit, yeah. and then she was like, I'm like, see, they're pretty. Uh, and that, but it was funny. Where's she now? She's fucking not around. Cause she doesn't drink beer. Back to the valley for her. <laughs> she was from like Cover City. Oh, she was from like by the beach. Ooh. <laughs> her parents speak English. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny as fuck. <laughs> you meet the homies and you tell them, yeah, my yes, my parents speak English privilege. <laughs> Privileged. You'd be like, why? I'm poor too. No, you're not. Your parents speak English. You know? They shouldn't be. There's no way you're poor. You know the language everybody wants to know. <laughs> like, it's the funniest thing ever. I love it. That's Don't funny. you know I'm local, Letty? <laughs> Let's go! The Lakers fired Frank Vogel. Yeah, he just... I think the way he found out was Twitter. He found out before the Lakers made it official. Twitter went crazy about it. And honestly, we didn't have a good season. For the players we had, the officers we had, it's just something that, like, we were, I remember when the season first started, we, we were, like, we talked about it like crazy, like, damn, okay, we got AD, we got a ring, Russ. but now we also have Russ, LA native, he's home, he's gonna want to ball out, and he didn't have the best year, whether it's um, shooting-wise or just being a, being a basketball player, like, yeah. some people have their off years, and we talked about this, where you said sometimes um, um, rappers get, like, um, writer's block. Yeah. I think it was deeper than that. Like Russell Westbrook threw shade at, at um at Frank Novo. I mean at Frank Novo. Frank Vogel. At Frank Vogel, and they talked about he talked about how he felt like he had an issue with him. Didn't really let him play his ball and stuff like that. And then they asked LeBron certain things, and then LeBron and AD said like, "Man, we let Russ be Russ the whole season." And then Russ replied with a, "Yeah, but that wasn't true. Let's be honest." So it's kind of like, it's like yeah, they're homies. They're really good friends, but. Just because I'm really good homies with some of my homies, I'm not going to start a podcast with them. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, something's not for the same people, you know what I mean? And I just I just don't think it made sense. I just think it's a lot of emotions, and, yeah, I don't know. It was a failed experiment, pretty much. And somebody had to take the fall. Frank Vogel, really good coach, but he's a really good defensive coach. But in order to be a really good defensive coach, you need those defensive pieces. Pieces. Mm. In the offseason, they traded away the best defensive players – for Russell Westbrook, Damn. who came here and didn't try his hardest to become the best defender. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, like, and then, the, like, the notion saying that he didn't get the chance to be himself. Like, he played the most minutes and started the most games out of any Laker. So how you didn't, how did you not get a chance? If you right. played, like, 70 games, you were the healthiest person all season. Give it up to him for that because he's the most durable Hardest playing. And he works hard player. as fuck. Yeah, he works hard as fuck. But at the same time, it's like, do you watch, you know, I'm not saying he doesn't, but I'm saying, do you watch the film? Do you see, like, do you make adjustments? Or do you just go out there every day and play as hard as you can? Well, hopefully we get the coach. That, um, He won the championship for the Toronto Raptors. He's a good oh, coach. Nick Nurse. Nick yeah, Nurse. Nick Nurse. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully we get him. I think that'll be hella fun to watch and shit. I think that'll be dope as fuck. Absolutely. Yeah. Poor Lakers. Historic Filipino town gateway installed over Beverly Boulevard in L.A. I don't understand this. So, so, so you know how Chinatown has its sign, the big Chinatown sign, where it has a dragon on top yeah, of it? Yeah, yeah. Other cities, my section finally got their sign. That's a gate. That's what yeah, 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 That's yeah. fire. It's historic Filipino town is in Los Angeles, but more specifically, it's in Echo Park. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's like, inside. Well, it's, a it's, on, inside well, it's on. It's in historic Filipino town. Yeah. It's right on Beverly Boulevard, the bridge. Where we've, where we've fucking, where um, you guys see movies like fucking Fast and the Furious being filmed there. Mm -hmm. It's not too far from Echo Park, a couple blocks. It's off basically Gendo Boulevard and Beverly. Mm -hmm. It will, but Beverly after the bridge, it turns into um all oh, first. But yeah, man, it's dope. Everybody's excited for it. I'm excited for the shit. How do you, how do you say it? The long, the long gabe or something. Our, Our guiding, guiding star. star. Oh, nice. And then it's right next to uh, Belmont High School, which is a legendary high school in the city. It's been around since, like, 1920-something. So, yeah, man, it's dope. Nice. That shit is, it's a, like, when I seen that, I was like, 
holy shit. I was like, damn. And then everybody, like, so when I met up with the homie, everybody was like, you seen that shit? They're like, fool, nobody knew. We didn't even know. Uh, damn, they didn't invite you to the ribbon cutting. They didn't invite up. me to the ribbon cutting. Yeah. That shit. Well, the like, for context that people, like, aren't from L.A. and stuff like that. Yeah. LA has a lot of little tiny mm -hmm. neighborhoods and sub cities essentially that people that live in that exact neighborhood are super proud of. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people won't know that like historic Filipino town is a thing. I didn't know what it was until I met you until yeah. we did that, the haunted house thing. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then I seen them like, Oh, this is like a little sub city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people like, for example, I grew up in Lenox first half of my life. A lot of people don't know what that is, but it's like technically, shares a zip code with Inglewood and it's right by LAX, but it's its own little sub city. Super proud of that. I'm from there and not another city nearby. You know 100%. what I'm saying? And I think it's like that with historic Filipino town, since it being around such something like it's close to the, to Dodger stadium, mm -hmm. not too far from downtown and stuff like that. But historic Filipino town is dope. Like we got like, it's, it kind of shares it. We're kind of like, <clears throat> it's kind of like almost Rampart district. It's not too far from Westlake. <clears throat> But it's, it's, it's literally its own thing, you know what I mean? So I think that's dope. I'm excited for that shit. I thought that shit was dope. I'm going to go take some pictures. That's dope. Around there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Edgar Report. The Edgar Report. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Money Sign Sway. Shout out, Sway. Super proud of my guy. Sold out the Novo. Hey. The Novo is nice. the biggest hip-hop venue on the west coast but like the biggest 100%. like literally when conducting like business on the west coast for concerts that's the one that books the most hip-hop festival it's considered a hip-hop venue yeah uh what dom was telling me and so to sell it out is a big fucking deal 2400 seats yeah. And a kid from Huntington Hunter Park. Park killed it. Uh, the one of the original Edgars, I'm not gonna lie, in SoCal. Facts. He's probably like in a while, he's probably he's very emotional about his life. Yeah. And his songs. And yeah. he talks about like real life. Yeah, he talks about real life shit he's going through. I, I know he has a song where he mentions his dad leaving and then his mom and stuff like that. Yeah. On the video, oh the is is it Mama Don't Cry? Yeah. Mama Don't Cry, yeah. we're fine. He like is like his mom, this Latina lady that protects him. And he's locked up and he's like calling her from the jail phone because he's, you know, incarcerated again. And then there's like a bunch of homies in there in the video that are yeah. also calling their moms and shit. Like it's a powerful video with the message and everything. Yeah. But yeah, man, shout out Swade. He's been doing this thing. Sold the Novo the fuck out. Yeah, so. That's fire. Hell yeah. All right, it's time for Brown Pride where we shout out Latinos doing it big and just telling them we are proud of you. My okay, so geez. big up to our girl Blanca Byrne. She's the first Mexican woman referee in the NBA. Yeah. Hell yeah. Man, I don't even know how to say this place in Mexico. Me either. It's to Toreno. Toreon. Toreon, Chihuahua, no, Mexico. that's not Chihuahua. Coahuila. <laughs> Coahuila. Oh, Coahuila. 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 Yeah. Well, no. Coahuila. But she's no. from like the, uh, a spot spot in Mexico. Yeah, she's from where there's probably pyramids. <laughs> yeah. Remember? Remember <laughs> how? What's dude? What's dude that was a pitcher for the Dodgers? Um... Which one? Fuck about Famous, Lizuela. yeah, Valenzuela. Lizuela. Lizuela. He was from like this super like, like bro, small, yeah. Bro, yeah, place in Mexico. That's probably gonna be like one of those. Wow. Yeah. Shout out to Blanca Burns. We're proud of you. First Mexican woman referee in the NBA. Big up, girl. Facts. And with all due respect, she with looks. She, she looks very. She looks very. She's very, very beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, she respect. is very oh, but, gorgeous. Yeah. Now, we have to shout out the youngest mariachi in the game. Eee. It's a little kid from Texas, Texas, Texas. <laughs> his, name, his name is Mateo Adalberto Lopez. Vic, you better stop clowning me before you're the one that reads these things, okay? I can't read. Okay, exactly. So then we're not laughing. Look, he's been named the youngest mariachi singer in the Guinness Book of World Records. He said he started singing when he was four. How old is he now? Seven, I believe. He's seven. Damn. Damn. Wow. I got to start hoarding. He thought already. Lovick needs a job, like I yeah. said earlier. Yeah. That's crazy. He sounds great, too. That's so dope. Oh, he's he, like good, good. Like, he actually. Good. Like, yeah. he has one of those voices, like one in a, one in a million voices, where it's yeah. just like, that's crazy. Being a mariachi is very hard, you guys. Yeah. You have to know a lot of, you have to know songs that your grandpa 
that came out when your right. grandpa was young. People you know what request I mean? a song, you gotta be like, oh yeah, I know that like, one. Or it, pull up the lyrics real quick. Now they have phones to pull up the lyrics. Yeah, now they have phones. Re- request yeah. the deepest cuts. Yeah, and, and you gotta if, know. If you don't have them, they give you the most like disgusting look. Yeah. Like, you don't. They, we. Yeah, that's <laughs> we what I'm saying. That, like, yes. yeah. Give me back the receipt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know any songs from Coco? <laughs> <laughs> did he ask, did he ask the for a Coco? I've asked for gr- I've, I've asked for Coco stuff. Yeah, we go to Placita Olvera. There's a spot we like to eat there, and there's like a little trio that comes, mm. and it's a lady and two guys, and we ask them to do like Coco songs, like Remember Coco Loco me. or something. Yeah, and they don't know it, but they're like, we could do Yorona, which is low key like a hella, like. Mexican Classic, song, yeah. 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 That or the Mariachi but Loco. My kids the don't Mariachi like, Loco is Yeah, but lit. my kids don't. But that wasn't in Coco. No, 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 it's just a. Oh classic. yeah, but no, my I'm kids s- do not like Yorona. Like to them, mm. that one's too sad. They need yeah. Poco Loco, Poco Remember Me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fire. Shout out, damn. Him. Yeah, big up to you. I really feel, damn. Like, how do you even find out what to be in a Guinness Book of World Records? Like, what to do to be in there? Yeah, you Who figured it you? out. Facts. I know. Like, is it like just a person with like a with like yeah, a yeah. with like a fucking notepad and just like come see can we sing? apply if, if that's the the thing let's let's figure out one that we could do we're something right we could definitely pick get we're into the, the first get into latino podcast to chug a even 40? if it's not that let's <laughs> figure something <laughs> out latino. to be one <laughs> what's something you would want to be in the, in the guinness world i don't know i want to see what type of stuff is in there like what type of stuff we could do yeah that would be very interesting yeah. a lot of time a lot of them are like timed like longest freestyle and it was like a few days or something longest or podcast running yeah you might have to go like on a, on like a, a podcast like been like marathon we yeah, could like do a, we could yeah. do three podcasts standing on our heads that would be like three uh, three days of podcast straight? live podcast three podcast three days straight podcast yeah. running and everybody just come by and give us water and <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow and water then we and have snacks. to be sitting down and drinking michi chewy yeah and you can't go to That's the restroom and you can't go to the bathroom Wow. Yeah. I could do it. That'd be hella yourself. Dangerous, mm-hmm. Just pee yourselves. Yeah. Or diapers. We're, It'll just we're be on a, a mission. The, the the camera angle will just be like neck up that whole day. Yeah. <laughs> it w- I remember there used to be books. Like you used to read the books. Like I want to be in the Guinness Book. Yeah. 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 And there yeah. always was the dude with the long ass fingernails. Oh. Uh, like the one that curled up. Uh, the. the uh, I remember when I, when like I first opened mine, I was like. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, he has nails like Evie Queen. Yeah, fast. <laughs> Trendsetter. Everybody was like, who's Evie Queen? Because I went to like a white elementary. They never knew. And I was like, now they know. know. Yeah. <laughs> Cardi B says she's inspired by Evie Queen. Like really? her nails and how she does it because of Evie Queen. That's dope. Sí, la gaballota, mm-hmm. papi. Look, let's go into No Me Digas. Oof. There was a comment on, look, shout outs, first of all, big up to everybody that commented. Oh, yeah. About what these cartwheels what are. What are they called? They don't AKA matter. AKA pinwheels. AKA chicharrones. AKA, AKA everything. chicharrones, duritos, like uh, everything. Churritos. I think we landed fun. on rueditas. It just makes the most sense. This is a ruedita. Yeah. Although the bag says The bag duritos. does say duritos. And it literally, like, like I think people are like, well, my elotero calls him this, or my, yeah. like, um... Paletero calls him that. But it's like, yeah, because they want your money. Whatever you call them, they're going to, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's not <laughs> there so was a while we're, while we're yeah. uploading this, there was comments about different things people call him. And somebody said that their girl calls him Beaner Wheels. Beaner Wheels. And then so someone commented like, oh, I, that sounds racist. I was watching the convo. And then that person was like, no, she is South American. So she can say it. And plus, I'm Mexican. So our kids are Mexican. So she can say Beaner Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so then the question arose in the group chat. If you are not Mexican, clearly Beaner is more of a Mexican slur. Or like a name meant to clown mexicans if you are not mexican is it fine to say beaner i think you have to be hispanic yeah yeah like if you're latino yeah 100 percent. if i'm peruvian can i call you a beaner for sure yeah yeah okay because i feel like that is even because even within latino cultures they're low-key i don't even know if the term is racist still but they they're still hate in between 100%. Everybody. Yeah, like, my Savi homies call me an immigrant all the time. 
Because <laughs> we're like the topic of the news, Mexicans, right? We're closer to America. The borders are like attached to oh, Mexico. Yeah. So I always get the shit the fuck up, fucking border happy, shit the fuck up, being out there. Your Salvi friends say that? Yeah, and then I just, and then I'd be like, you're just mad. It takes you longer to get to America. Yeah. And then we just go back and forth on certain shit. But yeah, the word beaner is not, I've been called a beaner before by somebody that wasn't Hispanic. Mm -hmm. And it's fine for you. Well, I was working, it, was, it wasn't, because it was like, so I was working at Polo Loco. Yeah. And they were like, and this, a certain individual was like, man, woo, 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 woo. And I'm like, bro, there's no more chicken. What do you want me to do? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You beaters always have something. Yeah, yeah. You beaters always taking people's job. And I'm like, you want this shit? You can have it. I don't want to work here. But you knew that their, like, intention was the, to... What you heard me? And I'm like, fool, I have papers. Yeah. Like, I have papers. But beaner doesn't mean you don't have papers. No, no, I just think I just think it's, 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 uh, it's something kind of like... It's derogatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Towards, yeah. towards towards Mexicans, because because yo may have all see with my homies, yeah. but like if a random person called my mom a beaner, but yeah. if it's like if it's if a Peruvian lady went up to your mom and called her a beaner, yeah. is she being disrespectful or is it just fine? Depends. You see, my mom. If, if my mom says "estoy llevando," it's different. But if mm -hmm. it was like a random argument and then that comes up, like if you're trying to hurt somebody, it's never okay. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah, like. Oof. Yeah, that the word beaner does not offend me. Because when I was called the beaner, I was like, ah, papers. Yeah. I think it, it all depends who says it, how they say it. Right. For the most part, like, you know, if, if a Caucasian says it and is trying to be offensive, it won't necessarily offend me, but it'll upset me that you're trying to offend me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your intention. It's all about intention. Yeah, it's all the, the intention. But I don't think anyone calls someone a beaner out of love that they're, that's not Mexican. That's not Mexican. Yeah, I guess. Like yeah. it's it's condescending. It's yeah. like all oh, those beaners. Because if it's like it's we're like let's say we're all in the car right now, and we're like four beaners in the car, like when we laugh and right. we love it, we're like yeah, hell yeah. Like what if like a white person in a truck is driving by? Not even like, a white. If a Cuban said fucking beaners in a car, I mean like to me, but the darker than yeah. Yeah, but they're not. To, I don't know. To me, it's, ne it's never words don't get to me. Like, and, yeah. I, and, and that's just to be honest. Like, like I said, um, most the majority of my friends are fucking not Mexican. Like, my homie Jerome is Filipino, and we go back and forth. And I go like, "You came on a boat," and he goes like, "Well, yeah, you're a fucking beaner." And I just we laugh about the shit. I just think it's the way you. I I really think it's the way you say if you mean things. Because I I personally know Frank. I know two best friends. One of them is white and one of them is Mexican. And the and the jokes that go back and forth are the funniest thing ever, but they love each other to death. Yeah. That's somebody's godson and that's the other person's godson. It's just it's just really it's really how you're saying it. I just think if you're saying it in a bad way, where like example, like like if somebody were to write an article about me, let them Vic, and the the publicists were to be like, the journalists would be like, Oh, well these like these aliens are beaners, then we'll be like, Well, what the fuck? Yeah. That's different. But like if if I think like if a Mexican journalist were to write something about us and it was saying it in a way where in, in a term where we understand we're like oh fucking because I remember growing up my mom be like ah si yo soy frijolera yeah a mí me gustan los frijoles mm -hmm. a mí no me importa mm -hmm. like you know like I just think it's the way you say things and how you mean it like if you mean it in a hurtful way then it's a big fuck you but if you if you mean it in a funny you get a long way and that's how you get along then I think it's I think it's okay yeah. I think that, like, to me, I'm not okay with it. Okay. I'm not okay with other Latinos calling Mexicans beaner, and I don't think that there is, like, a, oh, if they're playing around, it's fine. Because I, I just see so much hate within the Latino community. I don't think any of us are, like, immune to it. Like, it, and, it and when you're Mexican, it's literally, like, they hate that... Like everyone calls us. Everyone calls them Mexican. They're either Salvi or South American or Central American. But why are we always Mexican? And Mexicans always this. And Mexicans always that. I do think that when they use the term beaner, it's derogatory. It's not like homie ship. Um, and for the fact that we were talking about like like these rueditas, and then someone someone looks at these and calls them these are beaner wheels. <laughs> So when someone looks at them and calls them that, I'm like, oh, yeah, they're clowning us. Like, it's a clown. Yeah. So yeah. I just, I, I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's, um, clearly it's funny, but I don't think it's, like, like innocent. I yeah. think it yeah. comes with. 100%, I get it. It comes shade. with shade. Yeah. yeah. It comes with, like, it's not an empowering condescending. Term. Yeah. Because it, it is a diss. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just, like, I'm, I ain't going to lie, when I see, like, 
like shit on the floor. Like even when you call like like salviceros. Yes. Yeah, or like this. like I've heard that so. I hate oh, you that can I say it. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, you can say it. <laughs> yeah, but like, I hate that. Yeah. Like, I'll have family members that'll talk about salvies that way, and then I'll have salvi family members that'll talk about beaners and, yeah, and yeah. like talking crap about. But because I know behind those words are a lot of like, it's it's shade. Yeah, it's like oh this fucking cedro or whatever. Yeah. and even if the salvi's like, I don't care. It's still my intention is not yeah. not to look at you like a. E- equal you know that you know that offends me a little bit too when people say that because my son is half salvadorian mm-hmm. so it even if it offends me when people use that word too to me i think being like that you know mm-hmm. it's crazy that but i really be like with the homies <laughs> taking this shit and i'll be like damn i just took an andy the homie oh, andy salvadorian <laughs> and they'd be like he'd be like fuck you fool fuck you or like <laughs> like it's the funniest thing ever just because but that's how we get along that's just yeah. that's just like there's like, a lot of love behind it yeah, yeah like bro to yeah. to my homies every short by Sita lady that wears big sandals is a fucking a fucking little guatemanteca like it's just <laughs> like it's but but it's because we were raised around i was in my yeah, city like with all like south america so our the way when we get along like that it's it's really out of love. Like, and you know, like, like n- literally my best friend, my, the one I would give the world to and everybody, and I love him to death, the homie Andy. People don't know this, but bro, it's like literally, like he's uh, he's like my right hand to everything behind the scenes. He's literally Salvadorian. And bro, and, and what am I in? Our best jokes is about me being Mexican. Mm-hmm, and being it, but I shut the fuck up. Your team not even in FIFA. <laughs> be like, well, well, yeah, at least my my country not corrupted. Like it's just like funny shit back and forth, but it's like it's really like. But I understand other like if because I because I would understand maybe like if like let's say I his, get it. Like in the situation you're talking about, you're clowning yeah. they're your friends. Yeah, yeah. Like it's but it's just different in different situations. Oh, that's because yeah. that's what I'm gonna say. Like I'm pretty sure there's Salvi families that don't like Mexicans, and I know a lot of Mexicans that don't like Salvis. Yeah. It's just, I think, like, yeah, like, if my homie were to come and a family member I never met was like, he gets a pichu salvador, and I'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you because to you, that's, that's your, that's, that's like your other, like, yeah, other yeah, family. Yeah, 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 like, that's my family. Like, and my niece is mixed. Yeah. She a little beaner and a little serotura. But I love her to death. <laughs> I love you, Angie. Theo loves you. I'll give you the world. You know this. <laughs> Two, both of them. Jaylene and Angie. <laughs> what about Aiden. Aiden is full Mexican. Oh, okay. And I love the girls even more. For as much <laughs> of the of the back and forth, I love that so many like Salvadorians and Mexicans end up hooking up and making kids. Yeah. Yes. For it as sucks, much shit that they talk. It sucks for the offspring. It sucks for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you're like, but I think you get both the both, we get both the best worlds. Paco Pollo Tacos. I'm no, have- because they never end up together. Like, my parents didn't <laughs> end up together. The and side Little Vic, little Vic yes. I'm going to have a Little Vic call you for counseling yeah, soon. Yeah, please. <laughs> when he has an identity I identify. crisis. <laughs> it's like, damn, no, I get it. Mine didn't either. Yeah. <laughs> You're so, wait, you're, we hate you're, each other, but we managed to fornicate with each other like all day, like <laughs> all day. Yeah. I love Salvadoran women, by the way. I know, but if you get one, you're not gonna stay with her. You, you, you really? Yeah. So you gotta stop trying. <laughs> your, your kids are probably just gonna be little. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm cool dating a Salvadoran. They got a little like. Um, what do they call it? Um, sideburns? No, like <laughs> fucking, uh, sideburns. <laughs> what? what? You were going like this? The loto hair? They curly do have hair. sideburns. <laughs> curly hair. Salvadorians have the most beautiful sideburns. I love it. Curly hair. Like that shit, baby girl. All right. I'll pull it for you. All right. <laughs> so I just, let me comb it over your ear. Yeah. That father girl that ever broke my heart? Sorry. <laughs> fucking pieces and shit. I love them though. To that. Shout out to them. Shout out to the Salvadoreña with the coli. The col- how, how do you say it? The col- hey, colocho yo. hair? Like colocho hair? It's my thing. Cool or culo. Boom, boom, boom. So we're going to talk about two shoes. The avocado dunks that these just came here. out that Nike released. Boom, these are right here. What are your take on these, Letty? I like the green. I don't know about that little sticker. On the side of it, a lot of I the new dunks have been green. coming with that with the little like little side patch side? kind of thing. Yeah, I know the Union dunks just came out. They had like something similar. Yeah, I fuck with them a lot. I like everything. And then if if you like zoom in really good on the shoe, it gives you like the texture of the of, of like the outside of an avocado before you cut it. Yeah. So uh-huh. I think that's dope. I'm a fan. I fuck with them. I think it's cool. You're gonna wear. You're gonna be wearing um, testicles on your feet. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Aguacate is the Aztec word for testicles. 
Oh. Literally, the Aztecs saw an avocado and were like, hey, nuts. <laughs> This is what we're going to call it. Legit, look it up. That. Yeah, they do resemble that. Aguacate is the Aztec word for I fuck, I fuck with testicles. these. I like the color. As long as they don't brown after a while, I'll like... Yeah, this, the pit straight. still needs to be there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I fuck with them. All right, I'll now are cool. these other shoes by Tyga. The wavy babies. Yeah. And it's not a, like a Photoshop edit or like anything it's that has to do with It's not a fun your, mirror, like the fun houses. These are you. literally how these shoes look. Okay. I like them. Aerodynamically. They look a little sperm swimming. They do. Aerodynamically. Pick me. They're probably terrible as far as like. Doing exercise, running, walking. Right. I wouldn't take these hiking. Um, it's a cool concept. Yeah. The instead of a Nike or sorry, instead of a van like little yeah thing, yeah. it is a sperm. I can see it that. is the sperm tail. Yeah. See that? Semen. Semen. Probably hella horny. The semen ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the almost, yeah, the ones that never made it once. <laughs> I think it's this cool. This is I'll fuck the with most grossest <laughs> question, but I have to ask it because it came in my head. Pause on came. <laughs> um, <laughs> have you ever jizzed on your shoes? Has I, I'm sorry. It we're no. here. No, it's no. never landed on your pet. Vic is thinking. I appreciate I'm trying you for to like, like recall. It's been like I've never on my sock. <laughs> okay. That was on purpose. That was on purpose. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh shit! I have so many questions. You go ask him. Ask him. You can talk to him right now. <laughs> your head. We're here to answer them for you. Don't you get like rug burn? It's a sock. Food is lotion. Oh, I didn't know. No, I'm just saying. So you fill the sock with lotion. It's not like you hey, Victoria's Secret yeah. lotion. Pff, no, it's like it's a glove, <laughs> then a sock. Okay. And then lotion. And so then, what's the sock for? <laughs> You can't just do the, the bag and the Keeping lotion? it clean, yes. <laughs> it's it, tradition? It's tradition. Pass down generations. Oh, okay. Yeah. It would be a good place to hide your semen, I guess you could say. I never, I got into juvenile hall. They're like, hey, if you ever done a Fifi, I was like, never. They're like, you should try a perro. And I was like, fuck it, why not? I don't got nothing else to do. <laughs> so I made a Fifi. And you just stayed in your bunk. <laughs> no, no, what? And, and, and. There's and, a whole um, process, right? In camp, in camp you I did You got to put a sheet up and shit. No, you guys are just like over. It's just, it's just do it. Someone watches your back. Someone, yeah. somebody stands guard go, while, go, go. while jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't work like that. God. When you're in juvenile hall, when you're like in East Lake Los Padrinos, you're in your own room. When you're in campus, it's, 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 it's a little more. There. It's a little more difficult because it's just a bunch of bangs, a fucking bunch of bunks right next to each other. But yeah, no, I just I thought about it. No, I never skied on my shoes. Pants, yeah, so that happens. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that happens. It happens. Why does it happen? Like you're just walking. Kind of like a no. <laughs> if it's like a <laughs> no, <laughs> no. It's I don't like, know. I'm a woman. <laughs> it's like you know. Sometimes you know before you, you have an apartment, you might have to you know back backseat boogie. Okay. And then it's like sometimes oh. you don't or get fully like, undressed. Or maybe you just go me? crazy like in a parking lot or something. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. it, and then you you look later, you're like fuck. Oh, okay. I like these jeans. Yeah. Cool or cool on the shoes? Cool, for sure. I think they're cool. The, C the semen ones. I think they're cool. I don't know. I, think I know you would pull I think, off. I think you pull them off. Of yes, I know. I just yeah. I feel so weird right now because I legit feel like the chucks I was wearing were like this. And they then, look kind of similar, yeah. And then he hated on them. So. Yeah, fuck, I wasn't a big fan of the chucks. Yeah. Maybe because I'm a big fan of Vans. Is this more cool to me? Or Tiger? Or Tiger? No, I'm I thought you're cool. on T Rail side. I am. <laughs> I'm for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Tiger. <laughs> no, I'm just that Tiger never did nothing to me. He for sure it's a real Nah, no, but yeah, I like these shoes. But you guys, it's episode 40. We appreciate you supporting us. We fucking made it. Big's happy. He's going to go have a Fifi night because it was a good good day today. You feel me? You Is know that what where, I mean? Why, where all the guy socks go? You know how you always lose socks? I for sure lose it's socks. It's never like... That's all, why like none of them match. All the pairs. Yeah. yeah. Damn. There was never a sock monster. We've solved the mystery. Yeah. <laughs> Episode sock. 40, we solved the mystery solved of the, the mystery. Fifi. <laughs> Episode 40, they're going to call Fifi Nation. <laughs> Episode Fifi 40. Semen questions. Brown bag. Brown bag. Episode 40. We will see you next week. Shout out to all of everybody that's ever seen or listened to the podcast. We do this for you. Thanks. Thank you for doing this for us. Yep. Boom. Boom.